Hi everyone! So I thought I would do a quick how to get ready after work or how to freshen up your makeup after work because I've had this problem a million times. You've got work drinks, you've got someone to see or you're generally just, you know, going out for dinner or at this time of the year, Christmas parties. And more often than not, it's like, what do you bring with you to work to freshen up your face? I know a lot of people bring their makeup bags. Me personally, I don't bring anything because I don't really go anywhere after work, ever. And if I am, then I may prepare myself somehow. But what I wanted to point out was that you don't want to end up, you know, putting more on than you had to start with. Or going to the bathroom, coming out and being un completely unrecognisable, everyone going, oh my God, she's just put on a ton of makeup. You really just want to focus on what's disappeared on your face. Now, I've come back from work, it's 5.30, 6 o'clock, I've been at work since 8 o'clock this morning. I've blotted once throughout the day. Now, I'm not one to touch up my makeup. When I do my makeup, it's done, dusted, I don't want to faff about with it. But, if I happen to be going out for drinks or dinner or a party, I want to be able to make my makeup last longer and freshen up because even if you are wearing a long wearing foundation, it's 15 hours max, maybe 24 some, but by the end of the day, gradually, your makeup has or will probably wear off in certain places. I wear double wear most of the time and it doesn't ever wear off, um, so that's quite good. The only thing that does wear off me is my lips and also I don't wear eyeshadow to work, I just wear mascara, I cannot be bothered with it. I haven't got time in the morning, I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I haven't got time to be faffing around with my eyes and plus I just want to look fresh, awake, you know, and just clean. I, w I work in a corporate environment so you have to be really, you know, low key. So I've come up with these handy tips and ideas to just basically freshen up your makeup. Take with you what you've put on your face that morning. So for example, me. The blush that I've put on today is NARS Deep Throat. So I'll take that with me to freshen up. Most of the time I don't need to freshen up my blush. It's normally still there. But once you've obviously blotted and repadded and blah, 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 your blush has probably disappeared. So basically what I do, I know I look like an oily, oily wreck, is go to the bathroom, get a piece of toilet paper and just blot. Blot any excess oil off your face. You don't need blotting paper for this, just good old bog roll will work. So you're just blotting off any oil, going to the forehead, and just press, don't rub, you're just blotting off the oil. See, so you could really be moving most of your blusher and stuff like that, but if it's long wearing, you know, it should still be there. I go into the eyebrows, make sure you get to the side of your nose and really press into those corners where you get creases. Blot, 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 blot. Blot, back over the forehead, make sure you get right under there so you don't have any shiny bits. So you've completely blotted away all your oil. Okay, so you've blotted. You may want to go, sometimes I go on my eyelid like this because I've got really oily eyelids, over the eyebrow. Okay, now all I've got on is foundation on my eyelid, concealer under my eye. The thing is, if you go in, you may think you need more concealer or this and that under your eye. The thing is, when you go in with the concealer at the end of the day, it's going to go on top of all that powder and foundation and concealer you've already put on. And it's going to look cakey and yuck. So you really don't want to do that. You just want to you know, smooth out what you have under your eye. Believe me, you don't need any more. You don't want to look like, you know, you've just stepped out of, you know, Rocky Horror Picture Show or something, you know? Okay, so we've blotted. At this point, you may want to use, I haven't got any MAC Fix Plus, I've only got my setting spray, but you may want to use a freshening spray just to freshen your skin, okay? Freshen up, right? So you've done that. Then, if you your foundation has moved around, just go over it with a brush. You don't even need to add any more. If you feel like you need to or you've got a, a big spot or something, just get a bit of concealer where you need it. Usually foundation disappears around here, around here, in here, and that's about it. So just, just dab in those bits. You know, just, you're just touching up what's disappeared on your face. Then go in with a powder, either translucent powder or a foundation powder if you feel you need more coverage. I'm using the Dior nude it's got a touch 
a touch of coverage, I'll say. Big powder brush. Translucent is good because you're not adding any more foundation or powder. You just don't, I have a real phobia. Read my blog of why I don't like to reapply a lot of makeup if I'm going out after work. And so often than not, I just haven't. <laughs> I'd rather have my face slipping off than... This is a really nice hydrating powder. So it gives a bit of sparkle, but... You know, it mattifies the skin as well. You could take the sponge and go under the eyes, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, so you've powdered. Fantastic. You can go in again with your Fix Plus to tap that in. Take the blush that you used that day and use something like a stippling brush because this will give you the lightest application. The worst thing people do is they think, oh my God, I need more blush. Ooh, and they put loads of blush on and then you look like a blush face. You know, it's like not necessary. You don't want to look... Otherwise it looks like you've just gone and made, you know, a whole big palaver in the bathroom and people will be like, oh, you want to just look like effortless do you know what I mean effortless and fresh and put together so this gives you the lightest um, application and what I like about deep throat is that it has a bit of sparkle in it so if you didn't want to add a highlighter take a blush that's got a bit of sparkle in this is like a peachy gold it's really beautiful I love this and you see how light so you can't go wrong with something like this because it's so light and you get a bit of a sheen as well so you know that's just it's another way to you know save time if you want to you can take your highlighter to brighten up your you know your look on your cheekbones look at that this is max soft and gentle you know just to you know brighten up the skin under the eyebrows just to give you a bit of a, a bit of a glow because it's the evening you know you're going out you've got to be a bit glowy okay so face is done that's all I want to do for face I don't want to be a cake face so then eyes or lips you can either play up your eyes and have nude lips or have dark lips and you know less on your eyes it depends what you want to do I tend to do I'll get a liner because, as I said, I don't do any eye makeup. I'll get, like, a purple liner like this. I've got my mascara on and everything like that. And I will just run it along the lash line. Just to give my eye a bit of definition. And I like this purple because it's just... See, it's just given me instantly a bit of definition. What I wouldn't normally say. So people don't look at you and think, ooh you look very different from work they just think oh something's different I can't quite put my finger on it and then on this eye and actually when you've got mascara on already it's a lot easier to find to put the the liner on your eye now I love purple eyeliner you can put some underneath like that and just rub it in and that you could that's what you could do for your eyes that's it right or if you want to go really smoky you can take a black coal and coal your inner rims so this is really hard to do so like that and just smoke it out and again you could put that on your top lash line and just smoke it out easily you've got a really nice smoky eye so rub that in I would say when in doubt just go for coal eyeliner it just it it makes you look brilliant all together, you know, you don't have to do anything. There you go, you've got smoky, cold eyes, you look you look ready for the evening, you know, don't look like a daytime daisy. Right, that's eyes. You can leave it at that, right? But if you wanted to go in with eyeshadow, you can go in with eyeshadow. Easy peasy. I'm using the Chanel quad in Mystic Eyes. 
and I like to use a little brush like this and I will get this light brown colour here and literally just swirl it above the eyeliner just here and then go in and you see that gives you just a tiny bit of definition so I just swirl that just on the outer corners and go in and I'll do the same on the other side see you already have evening glam eyes like in two seconds that's so lovely there we go and then what I like to do is just take the lightest colour which is that pink one take my finger rub it on my finger and just put it on the centre of my eyelid like that bosh look it's all about functionality you know desk to dance floor easy as you like you know there we go really nice beautiful eyeliner smoky eyes you could even take um, some of that in the corner of your eyes if you wanted to to brighten up the inner corner of your eyes but I always think if you're going out in the evening for drinks or whatever you want to be a bit sultry a bit you know a bit sexy yeah so that's that I wouldn't put any more mascara on nope I'll leave it like that that's eyes done right and then for lips lips for me is the, always the first thing to go I mean I do reapply my lipstick after lunchtime but again by four o'clock it's gone I've practically because I chew my lips all down that that's what I do so it's very important that I actually do my lips when I go out so get yourself an, a lip liner because remember you've got a whole evening to go so actually before that get yourself some lip balm smother that on your lips give you a nice smooth base mmm mango okay I'm using number seven melon. Now you want to do you want to line your lips and fill them in. So this colour is like your lips but better. And it just glides on, it's amazing. It's really good if you get your um, boots vouchers. These are such nice lip liners. Making the lip liner go all on your lips like this, filling them in, really makes it last a lot longer. Okay. Okay, we've lined them. I'm going to go in with a lipstick. And I'm using Revlon Move It Over. Again, it's a similar colour to the lip liner. This is just going to make it last longer and, you know, brighten the lips up a bit. And then we finish off with some gloss and I'm using the mini one that I've got in the Urban Decay palette I think it's called, yeah it's called Naked Duh! and this is lovely because it's so minty so you're going to feel nice and fresh okay and there we go there you have it, done get your little makeup bag bosh, put all your stuff back in like that, there we go. You're going to use all of that, that's what you're going to have with you at work. Pop it in your handbag, spray with spray if you want to again, and there you have it. There's your look. I'll try and go in the light because my lighting's terrible. Oh, there we go, that's better. See, now you look fresh, hydrated, ready to go, and you don't look like a cake face. You see, wonderful. I hope you found this helpful. 
and do check out my blog for my five steps of, you know, desk to dance floor. And I hope you enjoyed this. See you soon. Bye.